Okay, welcome to my bench. Uh, I actually made a radio that works. So this is uh, kind of an amalgam of several schematics that I found various places, but uh, first a real quick demo. So we've got over here, actually, if we follow this cable. Over here is my shack. You can't really see it. It's an antenna tuner and stuff. So this line here runs out to my 43-foot vertical in the backyard and is coming in through a tuner that's off right now, so I think it's just a, a straight line in. Um, I have that coming in to a little SA612 circuit that, uh, oh, this thing is going to refocus, little SA612 circuit, um, which is then, uh, it's coming through a tuned input, has a 10 megahertz oscillator, uh, rock bound, uh, crystal oscillator, and then the output is just a cap on pin 4 coming out over here. Um, these go in to little LM386 based uh, amplifier based on some schematics from qrp.pops.net. Um, and then that also goes off over to the uh, oscilloscope here. So the goal of this is to be a WWVB uh, time receiver, but that's it's not working yet. I'm getting too much noise or something. That's why there's a filter in, in the way here. Um, but I am doing actual signal reception. Over here, I have my AA230 antenna tuner, which is turning out to be one of the best purchases I have ever made, um, hooked up to uh, 30-something foot random wire up in the ceiling here, um, which has 10 volts peak-to-peak, -peak, 60 hertz on it from my neighbor's power line, but that's a, a separate issue. So um, this is the only signal source that I've got for 10 megahertz right now. Um, and if we go over here and turn on the amp, that awful one kilohertz sound is the demodulation of this thing, because it is set to 10.01 kilohertz. 001, excuse me. And if we go and increase the frequency, The low end sounds weird. High end's nice and clean though. So, you can check that. So, actually, that is uh, 3 kilohertz up from 10 megahertz. So, if we go over here and re trigger the scope, and then pull our cursor in to right about there, 2.78 kilohertz, that's just the right goal. Being a problem. Oops, wrong knob. That's what I get for trying to do this through the camera. So, wow, that's really blown out. So anyway, it uh, it's three kilohertz over here, which is pretty great. Um, so yeah, so this thing actually freaking works. Uh, after several days of, of futzing with it, um, it's actually doing what it's supposed to. So, I'm very proud of myself, even though it's kind of a silly accomplishment. Um, so the, the schematic is right here, and you can't really see it, huh? So it just has a 10 megahertz tuned input, and then a uh, standard uh, crystal oscillator over here using 40 picofarad caps. Um, the front end, I had a 1.4 micro Henry toroid from failed experiments lying around, so I used that and calculated the front end um, capacitance needed over here. I've got some 9 to, pico, 9 to 50 picofarad uh, trim caps lying around, so I used one of those and uh, came in here. And even though it's kind of messy, it seems to work okay. So the next thing to do is figure out why I can't actually get the time signal, which is incredibly powerful. So it really should come in through anything. Um, I suspect I need an RF preamp or something. Anyway, this is my silly little radio. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, various and sundry people. Um, I just got my copy of Experimental Methods and RF Design, which has been incredibly helpful, as well as um, over here, uh, 
qrp.pops.net. This is actually the audio amplifier inside of that uh, Sweet Tarts tin. And uh, this guy is incredibly helpful um, and has all sorts of great stuff up. So anyway, on to trying to get this thing to actually receive signal. And then the next step is to try and get the 40 meter direct conversion receiver that I've got going right here to actually do something. Anyway, 73 AJ9VM.